yeah uh, i'll be talking about multimodal imaging in amd so uh, this is a conventional way of Dr. looking Santosh, at retinal pathology uh, due to lack of time can you wind up in 5 yeah, minutes 5 yeah. minutes yeah, yeah i'll do that minutes. so conventional way and uh, these are the gamut of uh, images what we have and uh, there have been quite some uh, type of uh, cl- classifications so if you look at multicolor and uh, the images how they look like faf and even the advanced dry emd you can look at atrophy that progress over a period of time so uh, there are studies which have kind of compared these multifocal images and the uh, faf that happens over a period of time mmi in cuticular and in pseudodrusin and something called fluorescence lifetime ophthalmoscopy wherein you can see uh, whether the uh, faf uh, the gen- uh, signal that comes comes from retina and rp is uh, old or new old is uh, depicted in blue and whereas uh, new is depicted in uh, red so this is what it is and the ocd biomarkers we all know a cam uh, multimodal approach has been uh, done in 2017 by a group of leading uh, retina specialists so the grading system was used to class- classify each modality of uh, these investigations whether it's recommended optional not recommended and discretion so if you look at this oct is always uh, recommended whereas uh, the other ones like is icg and octa are optional so uh, the they had even uh, classified these as cora and iora i mean most of us know all these definitions so the band of hyperfluorescence and uh, rp atrophy which is uh, complete and uh, incomplete that's what uh, discriminates them so again these images are the ones which are used as exercise and to atrophy prediction what happens over a period of time and uh, where really the atrophy sets in and even hrd's location also was seen you can see this refractile erosions and hyperreflective crystalline spots when you compare it with an oct by uh, b scan so these are the criteria you can compare with oct faf and in near infrared and color uh, multicolor images and even based on uh, choroidal thickness you can predict whether the patient can develop type 1 type 2 or uh, type 3 cnvms choroidal biomarkers again thinning you can see in retinal pseudodrusins and uh, you can kind of chart these drusins over a period of time how they grow over the period of time Uh, there's a new one uh, article which is uh, which shows retro uh, mode imaging on uh, mirante you can kind of decenter it and you can get a image from left side and you can get it from the right side of the image and you can see what's happening at the uh, surface of the retina just like an unfaz image so neurovascular amd uh, a neurovascular image you can know where the uh, shem is type 1 type 2 type 3 and ipcv multimodal images you can correlate with these uh, fa icg to uh, oct images and you can uh, kind of try to get to know where the pcv can probably lie and where you can do the laser as uh, dr uh, jacob was also talking about this and again you can compare this with icg uh, sorry icg and octa and polyps on fa how they look like uh, they do have a uh, confluent hypo uh, autofluorescence with a hyperfluorescence center and uh, pre and post pdt how they kind of change the hyper changes to hypo and octa in OC, uh, amd monitoring you can see pre and post pdt and how the neovascular uh, changes in the color images on octa also they are really helpful when you can't really make out with a regular octa and octa again really helps in different uh, the lesion presence at different levels of cnvm whether superficial you can kind of get the cursor down and see where the uh, the cnvm is more prominent and what really happens there and even unfast uh, visualization also you can most of the times you can see where the probable areas of polyps are on unfast uh, octa image as well as unfast image and uh, even uh, look and look at the uh, polyps and this is a learning curve you can see and uh, you can kind of try to get a uh, consensus of what really happens there the coral vascular and index again is important and now uh, ai as uh, dr sharat was also talking about the hyperreflective foci and sr deposits and coral hyperreflective foci is another one which is uh, even explored so to conclude multimodal imaging amd is an ideal way of looking at amd we kind of get complementary and confirmatory inform- information it adds to better understanding of what really happens and uh, really helps in follow up and prognosis thank you thank you dr santosh